Bell's core product, obviously, is fish, and meeting the growing demand in a resource-constrained world, coupled with the amazing efficiency of fish farming. When you looked at the late 60s, we used to commercially harvest about 38 million pounds of yellow perch out of the Great Lakes. And now we only commercially harvest about 11 million pounds. So we knew that the demand was there, but the supply was not. And that's really what got us into the yellow perch business. Uh, with that, we've also had requests for some additional pro products. And uh, now we're growing rainbow trout. Uh, that rainbow trout, uh, most of that product, uh, going to the Chicago market and the East Coast. And then this month, uh, coho salmon will arrive at our facility and uh, we'll begin to uh, grow coho salmon for the retail industry as well. So when you look at um, yellow perch coming out of the Great Lakes with that 11 million pounds, most of that coming out of Lake Erie. But when you look at that production, Lake Erie is about 4,000 square miles. If you choose to grow the product of yellow perch indoors, you can do that in about seven acres uh, with a controlled environment. So you can grow, and it doesn't require antibiotics or hormones, you know, it's to control the environment, which is the water. Up and going with perch. Um, these are the only perch we have left on the farm that are going to go through the production. So we actually, uh, we probably this, it'll be totally trout. Right. Salmon? Trout. Yeah, trout and salmon. So. This is pod six, seven, and eight. The most important aspect of indoor fish farming is maintaining high quality clean water, learning to filter that water and dealing with or avoiding waste. Uh, filtered and reused by this, by this same pod. So this is 75,000 gallons, 75, 75. The whole system is 300,000 gallons of water. And we recirculate 99.64% of our water. Once it hits the sump, then we'll go into the fluid ice sand bed, and that's where all the nitrification happens. That's where you take waste from the fish, from ammonia, and you convert that to nitrate, which is non-toxic. Then out of the fluid ice sand, we go into the LA or the CO2 stripping. Managing the farm to such a level of detail allows for a great deal of control, but also allows for a high degree of transparency among stakeholders. So for example, if you're a buyer or you're our leading biologist, you can type in that web address and you can see what's going on within the tank at all times, what the water parameters are, what the water quality, how much biomass is in there, what type of fish is in there. So for example, for Greg, our director of sales, it's real important, he sits down at the table with the buyer, pulls up his iPad, types in the web address and says, you know what, I can provide you with 50,000 pounds next week, that's coming out. But also one step further, let's think about transparency with our business. We can actually give them the web address and they can see that. And they can call Greg up and say, hey, Greg, I see you got 50,000 pounds. Can I have 10,000 of it next week? So it's that second layer of transparency. The, the future of fish is, is farming it. And it's no secret when you talk to people in the industry that the only way we're going to be able to keep up with the, the population and, and supplying them with a good protein source is going to be with fish. So it was kind of like a no-brainer to come to work for Bell and help them put the whole story together. And everybody that I talk to is, is very interested in what we're doing. Um, and just from a local standpoint, that the, the, everybody's real big on the local piece. Uh, you know, we're rolling out with a, a grocery store chain. We just rolled out with them this week, uh, Marsh. They're our local grocer. We've got other grocers that are interested in it. And everything you read moving forward in, in the industry today from a retail standpoint they're all looking for that sustainability. And they're, they're making announcements that we're, we're gonna buy from you know, sustainable resources. We want, we want our fish to be healthy for our customers and they wanna partner with people like us and what we're doing. But we've done comparisons with our perch and our trout, with our competition, so to speak, and we've had other chefs do testing and we've won every time so far. So when we take our perch and go up against wild perch, when we take our trout and go up against other trout companies, we're winning on, on flavor. And, and the way our stuff tastes. So we know that we got that part right.